Good morning. Or good evening. I don't know. Whatever time it is for you. Um, if you're following along with the playlist today, uh, I'm going to share it in the chat and um, I'm going to play it with my class today as well. It's called uh, Flow Yoga 122 BPM Electronic Yoga. And it, uh, 122 BPM is um, something that's just kind of a rough guesstimate uh, at the BPMs of each of the songs, but it does definitely help me um, kind of keep my focus and my drive through the class today. Uh, welcome here. It's good to have you here. Uh, let's get going. And I'm going to press play on my, um, on my playlist here. You can do the same if you'd like to. And we'll move the feed over to the yoga mat. And we'll get ourselves moving. So if you're laying in Shavasana, you can come up from your Shavasana into a tabletop position. So we're going to be on our hands and our knees. I'm just going to grab one more thing before uh, I get over to my mat. Just one more light. All right, so you're on your hands and, you're on your hands and your knees. Uh, push down with your palms. Let's start with just some core warm-ups, kind of like we do in the fitness class. Let's reach the right leg back and bring it back down to the floor. Let's do three more on this leg. One, and down. Two, down. Three, and down. And then four on the left leg. One, and down. And two, and down. Three, and one more. Awesome, back down to hands and knees. Let's add the arm into that. Let's just do three per side. So bird dogs, left arm, right leg, inhale, reach away. Exhale, elbow knee together. Inhale, reach away. Elbow knee together. One more. Together. Palm and knee down. Other side three times. Right arm, left leg. Together. Reach. Together. Reach. And together. Nice, back down to hands and knees. Let's curl those toes under and lift our hips up into downward facing dog. We're pressing down with the palms here and kind of corkscrewing the thumbs forwards a little bit is the feeling I get. Let's lift the heels, breathe in. Exhale, bend the knees, walk forwards. Hands to shins, inhale, lift the heart. Exhale, fold the heart down, spine folds. Reach your arms up, stand up tall, inhale. Exhale, hands to heart center. Inhale, reach up again. Exhale, dive your body down to the floor, fingertips touch in front of the toes. Inhale, lie, uh, rise up and slide those hands to the shins. Exhale, palms to the floor. Step back with your feet, you're in plank. Take a full breath in. Exhale, lower your knees, your chest and belly. Baby Cobra, lift your heart up. Exhale, lower your heart. Do a little hand knee push up. Shift your hips over your knees and then lift your hips up into downward facing dog. Inhale, lift both heels. Exhale, bend both knees, walk to the top of the mat. Hands to shins, inhale, lift the heart. Exhale, fold the heart. Reach the arms up, breathe deep, palms connect above your head. Exhale, hands together in front of your heart center. Then again, we reach up, inhale. Exhale, dive it down to the floor, hinge the hips back, fold, fingertips touch down. Inhale, lift the hands to the shins. Exhale, fold the hands to the floor, step back to plank. Take a full breath in. Exhale, lower your knees, chest and belly. Baby Cobra, lift your heart. Exhale, lower your heart, hand and knee, push up. Shift your hips back over the knees, lift your hips up, down dog. Awesome. Let's kick the right leg up, breathe in. Exhale, draw your knee to your nose. Inhale, right leg up, down dog, shape arms. Exhale, knee to nose, high push up, shape arms. One more, inhale, right leg up. Exhale, knee to the nose, step through. Reach up with both arms, crescent lunge, and pivot back with the left foot, warrior two. Turn the right palm to face up, dancing warrior. And then flow the hands to the floor. 
Both hands to frame your front foot. Step your front foot back, your plank. Take a full breath in. Exhale, knees down, chest, belly down. Exhale. Baby cobra, lift your heart. Inhale. Exhale, lower your heart. Do a hand and knee push up and go back to downward facing dog, folks. So you're up with the hips. Once you've got that, we're going to lift the left leg up. Breathe in. Exhale, take the knee to the nose. Lift the left leg again. Knee to the nose, shoulders over palms. One more time. Left leg up. And step through this time. Left foot steps between the hands or near. Reach up, crescent lunge. Exhale, pivot back to warrior two. Arms reach apart. Dancing warrior, left arm up. Right arm back on the thigh. And then flow, hands to the floor. Step back, lower down knees, chest, belly. Baby cobra, inhale. Exhale, lower the heart. And any push up. Shift your hips back and lift your hips up into the air. Let's take a few breaths in down dog. Yeah, we're moving a little faster today. That's okay, you can keep up. You try your best to focus on your breathing. Let's lift both heels. Exhale, bend the knees. Step forwards to the top. Hands to shins, inhale. Exhale, forward fold. Reach your arms up above your head, interlace your hands above you, crescent moon to the right. So we're side bending up and over to our right. Inhale, come back up to the center. Exhale, crescent moon to the left. Inhale, back up. You get the picture, let's go to the right side again. Inhale up. Left side. One more on each side. To the right. Inhale up. To the left. Inhale up. Step the feet together, squat the hips down and back. Squeeze your thighs together as well. That's why we want the feet stepping to center so that we can squeeze through the inner legs. Reach and lift, lengthen up through the spine and arms. Let's bring the hands together in front of the heart. Prayer position palms, press the palms and twist the spine right side down, left side up so that your right elbow connects to the center point of your knees. Lengthen through the spine for an inhale. Exhale back to center. Reach up, inhale. Hands together in front of heart, squat down. Inhale, lengthen the heart, spine lifts. Exhale, twist, other direction, left elbow down to the thighs. Take a full breath in. A full breath out, press the palms. One more breath in. Back to center, exhale. Reach up, inhale. Dive down, exhale. Hinge at the hips, fingers down. Hands to shins, lift the spine forwards and tall. Exhale, bend the knees, palms down. Step back with both your feet. You're in plank. Let's hold plank. Press down the palms. 10, 9, 8. Squeeze the core, squeeze the thighs. For 7, 6, 5. Press the heels back. Keep pressing the palms down and dome the upper back. 4, 3, 2. Hold it. You got it. And 1. And 0. Down dog. Lift the hips up. Nice work. Let's take a deep breath in. And out. Let's kick the right leg up. Breathe in. Exhale, draw the knee to the nose. Inhale, kick your right leg up. Down dog arms. Exhale, knee to right elbow. Right leg up, inhale. Exhale, knee to left elbow or forearm. Inhale, kick the leg back up. Exhale, take the knee to the nose. Step through with the right foot. Reach up with both arms, crescent lunge. Pivot back, warrior two, left foot hits the floor. Arms level off. Dancing warrior, inhale, right arm up. Exhale, windmill your hands down to the floor. Step back. Lower down, knees, chest, belly, baby cobra. Lower the heart, hand and knee push up, shift your hips back 
and up, down dog. Left leg up, breathe in. Exhale, knee to nose. Inhale, left leg up. Exhale, knee to left elbow. Inhale, left leg up. Exhale, knee to right elbow. Inhale, left leg up one more time. And this time, step through, knee to nose. Step the left foot down. Reach up with both your arms, crescent lunge. Pivot back with your right foot, warrior two. Take a moment. We'll go up to that dancing warrior, inhale. And then flow, exhale, hands to the floor. Step back, lower down. Baby cobra. Exhale, lower the heart, hand and knee push up. Downward dog. Nice work, kick the right leg again up to the air. Exhale, knee to nose, step through. Reach up, crescent lunge. Pivot back, warrior two. Muscle memory, dancing warrior. Right arm up, left arm back. This time different, straight in the right leg. Reach forwards, plant your right palm on your right shin. Lengthen the spine and torso. And reach the left arm up into the air. If you got some tunes going, appreciate. Let's bring the left hand to the hip. Bend the knee over the ankle, shorten the stance, and then jump forwards on top of the right leg. Lift the pinky edge of the left leg up. Hold the wall, hold a chair, or spread the arms wide. Three, and two, and one. Let's come back to warrior two. So we're bending the front knee, planting the back toe and heel. To dancing warrior, right arm up. To flow, hands down. Step back, chaturanga. Up dog or baby cobra, lift the heart. Downward facing dog. Lift the left leg up, breathe in. Exhale, knee to nose, step through. Reach up, crescent lunge. Pivot back, warrior two. Left arm up, dancing warrior. Straighten the left leg. Reach forwards with the left hand onto the shin. Right arm up. And breathe a few times. Take this right hand down to the hip eventually. We're going to bend the front knee over the ankle, shorten up that stance, and then spring forwards onto the left leg. Kick the right leg up. Spread those arms open if you want. Feel a little wobbly, that's okay. Try. Try to make the body get to that place of just a little bit of, of wobbliness. Sometimes that's nice. Feel the new muscles. Come back to warrior two, okay? Arms level off. Dancing warrior, breathe in, left arm up, right arm back, and then hands to the floor, exhale. Step back, chaturanga, lower from high plank to a low plank. Inhale, up dog, we're lifting the thighs off the floor for up dog and squeezing them. Downward dog, lift the hips back up. Nice job, take a breath in. Breath out. Breath in, lift the heels. Breath out, bend the knees, walk forwards. Hands to shins, inhale. Forward fold, exhale. Sweep the arms up above you, inhale. And take your hands down to the heart center. All right, we're going to step the feet about hip width apart. We're going to then dive down to the feet and grab onto our big toes with our peace fingers for an active forward fold. Lift the heart, inhale. Exhale and pull slightly on feet just to help add a little bit of downward traction. I'm feeling a pressure down to the heels, lengthen up the back of the legs. Take another inhale, lift the heart. Exhale, fold the spine down, pull a little bit more on the toes. Let's let go of the toes, heel toe our feet wide apart and squat the bum down and back between our heels. Give you a different perspective. We're in this sideways kind of squatting position. Our, our legs are turned, toes turned out, knees pointing out, and our hands are at heart center. And we're gonna turn this into crow pose, which is optional, okay? 
So to get into crow, um, we're gonna turn the palms to face forwards and our palms line up with forearms, line up with knees. That's the important part. Bring the palms down. Lean forwards onto the hands. Take those knees to the triceps. Squeeze them in. Walk the big toes to touch. And then lift your toes off the floor if you want to. And then keep breathing. It doesn't all happen in one day. Lower the toes back down whenever you're ready. <laughs> For me, it was then. Let's step back to plank. <laughs> Take a full breath in. Chaturanga, exhale, lower down, low plank. Lift the heart up, dog. Downward facing dog, lift your hips back up. Over onto the fronts of the feet. Let's walk up to the top of the mat. Nice work, lift the hands to the shins. And then stand up the rest of the way. Reach up with both arms, inhale, lift the left leg at the same time. Exhale, take the left leg over the right leg. Left arm under the right arm, eagle arms, eagle pose. <laughs> Squeeze everything to center. Legs, arms, even the foot to the shin. Now let's expand up, breathe in, lift the left leg up. Same pose, tricked you. Left leg over right leg, left arm under right arm. Eagle pose, same side. Just practicing that balance on the posting leg. Now let's come out of it. Inhale, reach the arms up, lift the left leg up. Exhale, kick the left leg back. Plant the toe and the heel, reach up. Lunge forwards. Take a breath in. Take a breath out, straighten the right leg. Open up the arms and heel toe back to warrior two. Lunge forwards, right knee over right ankle. Put the hands on the hips. Straighten the right leg. Turn the toes to face sideways. Keep holding the hips and then Fold forwards, wide-legged fold. Fingers down to the floor. Head hangs down. Elbows can bend here, or you can put your palms on your yoga mat. Push down and forwards with the hands. See how that gets you a little bit of extra stretch in the back of the legs. Pressing down and forwards with the hands. Let's let go and bring the hands up to the thighs. Rise back up. Heel toe your feet closer in. Turn your right toes straight forwards. Left toes on an angle, hands to hips. Hinge over top of the hips, over top of the thigh rather. Walk the hands down to the shin. Let's do three movements with breath into flow. Okay, inhale, lift the heart, press the hands down. Exhale, fold and bend the elbows. Inhale, lift. Exhale, round and fold. One more, inhale, lift. And exhale, round and fold, palms down. Step back to plank. Take a breath in. Exhale, low plank, chaturanga. Inhale, lift the heart and chest up, dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Let's walk up to the top of the mat. Take a full breath in, lift the heart. Exhale, fold the heart. Sweep your arms up, stand up tall, inhale. And take the left leg over the right leg, left arm under the right arm. Eagle pose, left side. Oops, I made a mistake. Eagle pose, right side. We're going right leg over left leg. <laughs> right arm under left arm. You probably got that. <laughs> Now let's expand upwards again, like we did before, lifting up with the arms, floating the right leg up, and then back into right side eagle. Right leg over left leg, right arm under left arm, bind, squeeze. Inhale, rise back up, lift the leg. Exhale, sweep that leg back, plant the toe and heel. Warrior one, 
take a deep breath in or your two open up heel toe back lunge that left knee forwards over the ankle and press the feet to the floor let's put the hands onto the hips go ahead and straighten out that left leg turn your toes to face sideways and we'll hinge at the hips into our wide legged fold again bring the fingertips down to the ground head hangs down between the hands Let's take a deep breath and lift the heart. Exhale, fold the heart down. Fingers press down, inhale, lift. Elbows bend, exhale, fold. This time to standing. Inhale, lift, press down. Hands to thighs, stand up all the way. Heel toe your feet a few times closer in, turn your left toes straight forwards, right toes follow, but they're at an angle, not straight forwards. Put the hands in your hips and then fold over top of your front thigh, keeping the legs relatively straight so we feel a stretch up the back of each leg and the hamstring. Now we can bring the fingers to the floor and we can bend the knees, optional. Let's take three movements with breath and then move into flow. Inhale, lift the heart a bit. Fingers press down. Exhale, fold. Lift. Fold. Lift. Palms down at the top. Step back with your feet. Chaturanga. Lower down. Baby cobra or upward dog. Lift the heart. Downward facing dog. Lift your hips back up. Let's walk to the top of the mat. Hands to shins, inhale. Hands to thighs, exhale, stand up. Nice job, let's lift the left leg up. Keep our pace going. Grab a water or rest whenever you need it, um, but we're gonna keep going as a group. Lift the left leg up in front of your hip, grab the knee, open the leg to the left side and reach the right arm to the right side. Balance right here. Appreciate the music. If you got some tunes going, maybe you got your own tunes going and you wanna groove a little bit with them, <laughs> whatever happens. Sometimes it helps kind of keep me present, having some music. Let's draw back to center, inhale, kick the left leg back, we're going to toppling tree. So the left leg extends back behind you, the arms reach back as well, and hold. We're gonna hinge a little bit by a little bit at the hip, and we're gonna eventually turn toppling tree into standing splits. So the fingers go down to the floor, left leg kicks up. Kicking up for five, four, lengthen the leg, straighten the leg if you can for three, press back through the heel, two and one. Let's lower that left leg next to the right leg, hands to shins, inhale, lift the heart. Exhale, fingers down. Step the right leg back and lower the knee down to the floor. We're gonna do low lunge or splits. So low lunge here, right leg back, left leg in a bend, splits. We're gonna to start to extend the left leg forwards and we don't have to go all the way forwards. We're just gonna to listen to our uh, sensations in the hip, which is harder to do than you might think. So we have to kind of show up in our practice every once in a while and feel it out day by day. The sensation shouldn't be too overwhelming now or after the posture. Let's draw the left leg back towards the right leg. Even if it makes a mess of your yoga mat, like it folds it up, that's okay. And we're gonna step back to tabletop of this position. From tabletop, we're gonna step back to plank, take a full breath in, exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, up dog, exhale, downward facing dog, hips back up, walk up, top of the yoga mat, hands to shins, inhale, exhale, fold. Inhale, reach up, stand up, palms up, hands to heart center. Lift the right knee up in front of the hip, grab the knee with the hand, Open the leg to the right side and reach the left arm to the left. Look to the left. 
Breathe in and out the nose. Stand tall on that posting leg and squeeze the left leg's thigh and bum combo. Keeps you tall. Let's come back to center. Inhale, move the leg forwards. Exhale, sweep the arms back and the leg back to toppling tree. Try to straighten out the limbs, arms and leg. Now hinging at the left hip, slow, fingertips down, standing splits. Right leg up, three, two, and one. Sweep the legs together. Hands to shins, inhale, lengthen the spine forwards and up. And exhale, fingers down, left leg back this time. Lower the left knee to the floor, and we're in low lunge or moving towards splits. Inching that right toe forwards, just wiggling a little bit forwards. And then stopping when is necessary. I think we can do to help protect this pose is have the left toes curled under like this. This can help protect the knee and just stabilize the whole back leg a little bit more. And this might be your maximum splits. That's fantastic. You don't have to go to the floor one day. All right, let's go back to tabletop. So we're sliding this right foot back, just nice and slow. No rush here. Okay, and we're going to get back to tabletop. And then to plank, curl those toes under, extend the legs back and squeeze the thighs and the bum. Let's take a deep breath in and hold for 10. Pressing palms down, nine. Squeezing core, eight. Thighs and bum, six, five, four, three, two, one. Let's do a flow. Take an inhale. Exhale, lower down, chaturanga. Inhale, up dog or baby cobra. Downward facing dog, lift the hips back up. Nice work. Let's walk to the top of the mat. Got one more pose to go. Hands to shins. I'll add two more poses. Let's stand up all the way. We're going to go back to dancer's pose and then link it into our tree pose. Okay. So we're going to go left side dancers, left side tree in succession. So let's kick the left heel back to the bum, grab hold of the foot, left on left, re reach up with the right arm, kick back with the foot. Breathing in the nose smoothly and out the nose. Again. And out. Let's rise up, moving into tree pose on the left side. So opening the knee to the left hand side and then drawing that left foot to the inner right calf muscle or thigh, right? And then we're going to have the hands to the heart center. Squeeze the thigh and bum of the posting leg. You got it. Press the palms, fingertips. Breath in the nose. Breath out. Posting leg gains roots, pressing down. Move the knee forwards and lower your foot down to the floor. Nice job, let's reach up with both arms. Lower the right arm down next to your hip, kick the right heel back to your bum, grab onto the foot with the hand, kick it back, and reach the left arm up at the same time, and go for your dancer's pose today. You should feel a little stretch across the right hip and the right thigh. When there's some fatigue feelings on setting in the thigh that's standing us up, left leg pushes down into the floor. Let's rise up to tree pose, lifting up, moving the knee forwards 
opening the knee to the side, and then sliding that foot just onto the inner calf muscle or thigh. Take the hands to the heart center, push the palms together. Push the leg to the foot and recommit those roots of the posting leg all the way up to the bum, thigh, down to the foot. All right, let's move that knee forwards, breathe in. Lower the foot down, breathe out. Find the top of the mat with your feet. Now let's take an inhale and reach up. Exhale and dive down. Inhale, lift the heart, hands to shins. Exhale, palms to the ground. Step back to plank position. Take a full breath in. Lower down the knees. Take another breath in on the hands and knees. Lowering down for five, four, three, slowing down, two, one. And you're on your stomach now. Nice work. Let's take just a moment's rest. Palms under forehead. Rest your forehead on top of the hands for three breath cycles in and out the nose. Let's keep moving, folks. All right, look down, palms under shoulders. Baby Cobra, lift the heart up off the floor, squeeze the inner thighs together and the big toes by extension squeezing. Press down into the tops of your feet if you can and let your spine grow forwards. Smooth breaths in and out the nose still. Now we're going to reach the arms back behind our hips, interlace our hands above the bum, press back with the knuckles, lift the legs off the floor, keep pressing back, let those shoulders slide down the back body, and the toes squeeze together and lengthen backwards. Kick your heels to your hands, grab onto the feet from the outside edges, and now kick your feet back into the hands, look forwards, and lift your chest up for bow pose, holding. Two more full breaths in and out. Another one. And let go of the feet. Put your palms under your chest and shoulders. And we're gonna lift a baby cobra or upward facing dog. So you know baby cobra, just the heart coming up off the floor a little bit. Engaging the low back and bum is actually pretty tough. Or up dog, we keep that engagement going and we flow up, lifting the chest. Keep the bum squeezing, keep the thighs engaged for three, two, and one down dog. Hips back up. Let's bring our knees to the floor for a reclining hero. We get some natural rest built into our sequence here. We're gonna take those knees apart, toes touch together, and then lean back onto the thighs. Any amount you want to come back, elbows perhaps all the way down into your spine is all adequate. We're all going to get there at different times. Some people will go right away down to the floor. Uh, people like myself, like I sometimes just take a little bit of time to get down. Sometimes I stay on the hands or go back onto the elbows. Let's start to rise back up. Put the hands where your elbows were. Push yourself back up so that you're standing up on your knees right on up. And here we're going to curl the toes under right away so you can see how my toes are underneath the heels now. We're going to put the hands on the bum and draw the elbows closer together behind the spinal column. Now the, 
the idea is to create spaciousness on the front of the body for this posture. All right, so we're just going to search for spaciousness there. Draw the elbows together, lift the heart up, maybe arc the spine back to keep creating that spaciousness up into the chest and throat. And some people like to expand it down into the belly and the hips, and we can reach back for the heels. And then sometimes the sensation is greater into the front of the hips, uh, just because of the increased uh, bending back at the hips. You can let the head hang back. Tuck the chin to the chest, and rise back up, hands to hips and thighs. Awesome. Let's set the bum down into the heels for a moment. Feel toe stand. So bum is resting right on top of those heels in the position they were in for five, four, three, two, and one. Nice. Let's lean forwards and bring the legs to the side. And then in front of us. All right, we're going to grab the undersides of our hamstrings next, folks. So right on about here behind the knees. And we're going to lean back and lift our legs up off the floor. And we're going to hold this position on the hips with the legs floating. If the legs floating makes it uncomfortable, put your feet back down, re-lengthen the spine from the low spine up to the chest, and then keep the heels digging down today. The hamstrings will help you anchor help you focus into a different region of the body. If you do feel capable of floating those legs, then go for it, float the heels. Next thing we can try is extending the legs slightly more. We just wanna pay attention to any sensation in the low back that might be too great. I know sometimes if I go full extension with the legs later in the day, something in my low back just doesn't feel that great because of the too much pressure I put into it. So this is a good sensation for me to stop in right about here for five and four. You'd make the judge for yourself and three, make the call, two and one, heels back down. All right, lean back onto the elbows. Take a bit of, of a breather there. We're gonna let the legs just windshield wiper left and right. Take a few breaths in and out the nose. Aware of the breath, inhale and exhale. All right, let's do one more set of boat pose. We're gonna grab the undersides of those hamstrings again, put the heels on the floor, lift the spine up and dig the heels down. If you, even if you didn't do it last time, we're gonna try it this time, digging those heels into the ground, feeling those muscles behind the legs, the hamstrings. You can stay right there or lift the legs. Keep extension through the spine, low back spine and lift the heart. Take a deep breath in and out. Two more like that. Maybe feeling a bit of heat in the body. On your next exhale, lean back forwards, let the heels come to the floor, put the elbows and hands down behind you and then we're gonna lay down on our back. Keep the knees bent so the knees are up in the air. And we're gonna try bridge pose and wheel pose, okay? So we're gonna start with bridge and you can stay with bridge if you want to. Lift the hips up, elbows stay beside the hips, root them down into the floor. Palms are in the air and lift your hips up between the hands. Second option is interlacing the hands under your bum, pressing down, lifting up. Keep there and hold. Dig the heels down and pull them towards your body. Two more breaths, inhale. And exhale, lift the hips. One more, inhale, and exhale, float the hips down. Please repeat that posture again if that's your comfort zone today, or join me for wheel pose. For wheel, reach the arms straight up above your head. 
we want to be able to put the wrists into about a 90 degree angle of flexion. So sometimes the wrists are going to be limited to that and that, that might not work for us. We could check it out right here. It's like our palms are planted on the ceiling. Then we're going to bend the elbows and plant the palms next to the head. Then we're going to start to dig down with the fingers, grip the floor with the fingers and thumbs, press down with the feet, lift the hips. This is our starting position. If you're confused, just take a quick peek. All right, if we want to go upside down with this one, we're going to start to lift the hips, heart and head off the floor. Take a deep breath in before you go. And exhale, go for it. Press the palms down, press the feet down. For three, two, and one, tuck the chin, shoulders down, spine down, arms relaxed next to your hips. Nice work. Let's do a spinal twist here. So we're going to let the hips go to the left side and the knees are going to go over to our right hand side. You can hold the hand on the top thigh, right hand on thigh, left hand on rib cage. And look to the left. Let's go to the other side of our twist. So we're going to lift the knees and the head back to center at the same time. And then take the hips to the right, knees to the left. And then look over to your right hand side. Take your left hand and place it on top of your thigh. And your right hand maybe on your chest or your right hand side of the rib cage. And look to the right. And let's lift the knees back up over the hips. Let the hips come back to center. We're going to lift the knees up into the air and grab the undersides of the hamstrings. We're going to try rocking and rolling on the spine a little bit. If you have never done this before, you might just take a quick peek at it and then just go slow with it, you know, no need to rush anything. So we're going to draw the knees to the chest and then away from the chest, knees to the chest and then feet away. We're just going to create that rolling motion. Eventually, we're going to roll past the feet onto the palms, jump our feet back to Chaturanga, or do all of that nice and slowed down. And I'll show you what I mean. All right, if you are first time into that, just watch. Roll back, roll forwards, roll back, roll forwards with momentum, plant the palms down, step the feet back to plank, and then you're going to lower down from there to up dog and then downward facing dog. All right, so let's try that together one more time. If you already went through it, lay down back again on your on the yoga mat there. And let's try three rock and rolls into palms on the top of the mat, feet step or jump back to Chaturanga into a flow, okay? So inhale, knees to chest, exhale, knees away. Two more, inhale, exhale. Inhale and flow. Nice work. Let's bring it to pigeon. Kick the right leg up, breathe in, 
Exhale, draw the right knee to the hand on the right side and swivel the right shin slightly diagonally underneath of your pelvis. Relax the left leg now. <sighs> Let's come on down into the elbows. So I haven't been able to do the jump back um, for a while since I stubbed my toe a little while ago. And it actually, like, I can't believe it still hurts. Um, I think I may have actually broken my toe. <laughs> so we want to just trust, you know, our some of the intuition in our body. So when our body says something like, eh, well, you know, you don't have to do that. You have that old injury or something like that. Or we know this sensation doesn't work for us or that might make it worse or something like that. We want to listen to those call outs from our body. It's like this little intuitive SMS from deep within <laughs> just arriving. Ding. Take another two or three breaths in and out the nose. <laughs> P.S. If you're confused what an SMS is, um, it's just a text message. Sorry. <laughs> so it's like this little text message from deep within saying, bing, you know, hey, Matt, um, this is your hip t t uh, texting you, uh, just reminding you to uh, be careful about this one. Or, hey, Matt, this is your toe. <laughs> it's coming in to, ch to check out what's going on here for you. <laughs> Be careful. Take care. <laughs> All right, let's go back to tabletop. We're down. Dog. Lift the chest up, push the palms down, curl those left toes under, and go back to tabletop or down dog. Kick the left leg up, breathe in. Exhale, draw the left knee to the left wrist. Pigeon on that left side. Let's relax that right leg and come on down onto the elbows or the chest. I'm staying on the hands. And then open to receiving those messages from your body. Try to relax the upper back and head and spine. You let your head hang down like a weight. All right, let's lift our spine back up. Put the palms down and lift up. We're going to curl the right toes under. We're going to go back to down dog. Let's do a flow. Inhale, high plank. Exhale, knees, chest, belly. Baby cobra, lift the heart. Exhale, lower the heart. Hand and knee push up. Shift the hips back and up to down dog. All right, let's lower the knees to the floor. Sweep the legs around so they're sticking forwards in front of us. We're then going to bend the right knee and place the right foot to the inner left thigh, groin area. I'm going to reach down for the left big toe with the left peace fingers. If you cannot reach that, it's okay, grab the shin instead. I can reach, so I'm going to grab the toe. Reach the right arm up and then start to side bend your spine. So we're feeling a stretch on this right hand side rib cage abdomen area up to the arm. We're kind of helping that stretch out by kind of just pulling on the toe a little bit and letting ourselves go forwards. And let's lift the spine back upright, inhale. Place the right hand behind your hip kind of a, a foot or a foot and a half away from your hip and then reach up with the hips and up with the pelvis lift the left arm up 
and we're going to push the left heel down to the floor and the right knee and shin stays on contact with the floor as well. Take one more breath in. Exhale, lower that hip down to the floor again. Let's change the side of that posture. So right leg extends, left leg draws in. We're going to reach down for the big toes with our right peace fingers. We're then going to reach up with the left hand and arm. Look up, take an inhale. Exhale, start to side bend your spine in the direction of your right toes. Feeling that stretch on the left side abdomen around the rib cage to the armpit. Let's rise back up. Place the left hand about a foot and a half away from the hip behind you. Lift the hips by pushing down into the palm, down into the right heel and the left knee. All right, let's go lift the hips up. Reach the right arm up and hold. Last breath in and exhale. Lower the hips back down to the floor. We're going to take our uh, feet straight forwards in front of us for a pose called staff, so that the legs are straight forwards and the hands are close to the hips, fingertips pointing back, spine tall. It's almost like a 90 degree angle at the hips, um, but we don't need to be too strict about that. We're just trying to feel a stretch in the hamstrings, the back of each leg. We can do a little press forwards with the spine and we can start to round the spine slightly and press the palms down and back behind us. And for me, that often gets a little bit more sensation into those hamstrings there. Let's lift our spine up. We're going to hug our right leg into the chest, cross the leg, right hands behind us. We're going to do a twist, wrapping the left arm around the right leg, rotating the spine to our right hand side. Last breath in. And out back to center. Change the leg shape, opposite uh, side, and left hand stays behind you. Left leg is crossed over the right leg. Let's wrap the right arm around the knee. Give yourself a little hug around the knee and twist to look back over the left shoulder. And turn back to center, inhale. Place the soles of your feet so that they touch each other last posture of the day before we do um, Shavasana. So the soles of the feet are touching and we're gonna hinge forwards over the feet, just here for about a minute. You should feel a groin stretch. If you prefer happy baby, you can lay down on your back, setting up for Shavasana and do the next 30 seconds in happy baby. So letting the knees bend towards the armpits, reaching up towards your feet and grabbing hold of the outside edges of the feet and opening up the groin. I've actually been preferring happy baby to cobbler's pose in my own body these days. Something about it just kind of, it's just working better for me. And let's relax into final Shavasana. So if you're still upright, just go ahead and lay on down on your back. Extend both of your legs all the way out. Let the arms relax out beside you. Take up as much space in your room as you need to. And we have five minutes for final Shavasana right here together. Let's uh, soak up the rest 
and move into just the feeling of the, of the music and the silence for the next five minutes. I will um, pipe back in at the end and let you know that a class, their class is finishing. Um, so enjoy your Shavasana. Take a breath in the nose and out the mouth. Thank you so much for joining in the flow class today. I hope the faster paced class uh, worked for you. If you're here in the live session, thank you so much for tuning in and for uh, coming to say hi in the live sesh. If you're here in the recorded session, thank you so much for coming down to the website today and checking out the class. 
I look forward to hearing from you soon. And you'll hear from me um, shortly. I got some uh, special surprises for this weekend if you want to tune in for any of them. So uh, take care. Well, until the next time, namaste.